<clears throat> this is actually pretty interesting because you are are you still fifth right now? Oh, definitely not. No, I had a I had a rough session this morning. Uh, I probably found about six or seven cups all morning, and then I lost seventeen. I think I'm still in the top ten though. Okay, dang that that really sucks. I, it did. I hit fourth, so I know how, it hurts. I know how it is. Um, being up that high, you have to. Um, you know what? This is this is something that I was going to ask you. Uh, are you actually waiting for a good? base to attack or are you just going you know the one trophies all the way up i will take the one trophies if it is a very hard base and it's a one cut base and i really am not sure about it i'll skip it but rarely yeah you know and that is that uh that's pretty expensive doing that isn't it it's not Be no and i'll tell you why as high as i am in six hours i might see six bases so it's probably more expensive if i did that lower where I'm seeing 30 bases. Okay, so you get six bases in six hours, huh? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, unless it's a really t I don't like rating my base. My base is terrible, which is why I have it. Um, it's hard to beat, and so I always get very close on it. But out of the six that I saw this morning, five of them were one cups, and the other one was only three. And then after that, I was lucky only to get one starred for 17. Um, you know, if you get two starred, it's really going to set you back. Well, you know, I'm actually being a really bad commentator right now. I didn't even introduce you, but could you uh, go ahead and tell me a little bit about yourself? What made you want to start playing Clash of Clans and then eventually decide to start pushing the, and go to leaderboards? Oh, okay, sure. Um, I was playing a poker game with a couple of my friends, and after we... Um, we went pretty far in that game. One of the girls I was playing with decided to play this game. And she told us we had to all come on board. And even my son was playing this game. And eventually we all looked it up and we got hooked very quickly. And so we were in a clan together for, gosh, I don't know, over a year, I'd say. And, I'm, you know, sometimes we would just go up and up and up. And, and so uh, now now you're like ahead of everybody else, <laughs> you're like the top person in the clan. <laughs> for now, for now. That, that's the very fleeting thing. Why, one bad raid, one bad defense, and you're, you're knocked back down on your back pretty quickly. How much do you think it is as far as like luck and roll of the dice? How much is that, or is it just skill all the way up? No, there's a lot of luck involved. Absolutely. Um, you could have the clouds roll out and be the person that finds the 50 cut base. You could have just the one cut bases. So it's pretty much a lot of luck. And then you could have the defense where somebody's dropping spells in the grass, which is lovely when that happens. Yeah. Or you could have somebody who just gets right to the center. So I think a lot of it is luck. And we are all really, at this level, we are all really good players. And we all have really good raids, and we all have really bad moments. Yeah, yeah, I know how that I is. What, what luck. could you maybe tell us? Like, what was your worst day? Like, <laughs> I know <laughs> I've had mine. I, I think I lost about like a, a hundred and fifty cups. Yeah, mine was one twenty. <laughs> it was really awful. I, um, I lost a raid, and then I lost connection and lost a defense and shook it off and went back in to lose another raid and lose another defense. Dang. Uh, and then I, I let the shield stay you for a that, while. That's like uh, about a month <laughs> of work. It, it really, it took me a long time. But I wasn't up quite this high when it happened. I was probably around 4,000. Uh, and it knocked me down pretty good. And it does take a long time to get up. And at that level where you're actually seeing a few more bases, it does get very expensive. Okay, well, you know what? I want to talk about your base because I've noticed... Now, I saw you up at the top five, and you don't even have a max base, nor do you have max heroes. No, I have baby heroes. I love them. Uh, <laughs> could you maybe <laughs> tell, like, maybe you could give me some more insight on people that, you know, if they're looking to go up that high or to just start pushing the champions, you know, maybe you can give them some advice uh, about, you know, what's required to be up that that high. Sure, sure. Um, defenses, you know, it's nice to have them as high up as you can get them. Walls these days, with people using wall breakers and using spells, I think they're moot. People are using air, so walls help if you got the bombs in the right spot and your wall breakers are getting destroyed. Otherwise, I don't know that you really need them all the way maxed. And as far as the heroes go, I could never go wipe 
properly and consistently with my low heroes. But I can use loons because I hardly use my heroes. They are mainly for cleanup. What would you say is the the majority of your tech? Is it uh, more ground troops or air troops? I only use air troops. Air troops. Unless I'm in war. I'll do go wipe in war uh, to try to go for the second star. But I'm staring at that base a long time to to figure out where I'm going to go in. When I when I have thirty seconds to figure it out, I really need to be using air troops. Mm. Very much more confident with them. Okay, now I have to ask this: What is it like being up that high? How does it you know? How do you work your schedule into that? And is it stressful? Is it you know very oh, yeah. time consuming? <laughs> Maybe you could give me like some more insight on that. Yeah, it definitely takes some some dedication and time. I'd say I plan my day around it. Uh, I will take my kids to school in the morning, and then I will sit on my iPad and do a session. Um, Then I'll be shielded, and I'll spend my afternoon with them. And then when it's time to go to bed, I'm on it another six hours um, to try to maintain my cups. And I don't think that you can do it as high as I am any other way. Wow. You know, this. I'm not sure how, how exactly it is for you, but when I was, like, you know, really high up in my cups, I would have to have my iPad going while I was taking the shower. I'd have to have my phone on while I was in the car (laughs) just to monitor my stuff. And it was, (laughs) it was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I've had my kids sit there while I was in the shower and just click on my iPad so it wouldn't close until I was able to get back on it because the second it closes, um, in champion, you're getting rated pretty quickly. Oh yeah. Like right off, (laughs) right when you log off. Yeah. Right off. They'd be happy to see you. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. They, they definitely are. Uh, have you have you ever attacked anyone, um, like, at the top two or top one position? Anybody up there? No. No, never got the chance? No, I'm dying for them <laughs> to get offline, though. I don't seem to ever find them. Yeah. Um, they're the only ones right now that have cups for me. Please get offline. Yeah, you know, that's that's <laughs> another thing, too, because when you're at, like, top five, everybody below you is only, what are they worth, like, 10 cups or 15? I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen 10 or 15 in ages. <laughs> I, I, all I see is one. Uh, every rare once in a while, I see like a nine, which is great. Yeah. And, you know, how, how exactly does that work? Is it if they are 100 cups above you or 50 cups above you, what are they worth, like 10? If they're above me, they're worth, well, I guess they're worth a whole lot more. Normal. I mean, the most I think that I could possibly find is probably 20 something cups 20 cups well and I, I don't i don't know that i could find more than that and that's on a good day <laughs> and that's on a good day and and that's considering with my heroes i'm not going i'm not raiding like everybody else i'm not going for the town hall all the time i don't go anywhere near the town hall until i have 50 percent. everybody else where i am is rushing right that's, to the center that's like the safest thing you heroes. can do i swear i know but it works it works when you if i had level 40 heroes I would try to go center and when I get on a couple of my friends accounts to raid for them I am going for it because I can but my heroes are 25 and 29 right now and they just won't make it through that wall especially max (laughs) bases absolutely absolutely Uh, so I guess it's it happens it's rare I probably maybe 10 or 15 percent of the time will um will get the town hall what would you say is like your goal in the game? Are you aiming to be just, you know, trying to get number one and then say, all right, I'm done with it. I can throw it away now. <laughs> no, you know, you're not the first to ask me that. I have one more goal and I'm hoping to hit it on Sunday. I would like just to say that I w- was able to join a tourney and um, and get the gems from Supercell. Oh, that's my goal. Oh, it's yeah, not the, a lot of the, gems, um, but I'm high enough up to get them. Yeah, is that where your clan has to be like top three, and then you have to be top ten to get the? Uh... Correct. Oh wow. Correct. Okay, that'd be awesome. Um, <laughs> it would be nice to say I did it. I definitely don't have aspirations of number one. I wonder if you get a, like a message or something saying we we're giving you gems, or if you have to collect it. See, that's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Maybe maybe I can find out too. Like you can tell me how it is. <laughs> I'll snap a picture of it. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, this is this is really interesting for a uh, girl gamer, you know, to be up at the top like that. Would you consider yourself a girl gamer or is just someone that's playing socially and that's competitive? I never really considered myself a gamer. This is probably the only game that I've played as in-depth as I, uh, as I am with oh, it. Man. But it definitely um, is fun 
to play for sure. And there's so many girls that play on this game that are just so awesome. And it's nice to be within that group. What could you give maybe some suggestions or tips for other girl gamers out there that are looking, you know, to play competitively? Oh, gosh. Um, I, I would tell, I tell everybody, you, you've got to use balloons. It's, I use it for farming on my mini account. I use it for pushing. Go wipe is so hit or miss for me personally that I could never consistently use Why it. Why is that? I would, Why is that? Because my heroes are too low to push center with them. I feel, you know, you you have, I have 11 and 15 left on my heroes. That's two, three more hits to get to the town hall. It, I might make it, but I won't make it consistently. Yeah. So just having your heroes maxed out would probably be a better thing. But you know, even when, even when heroes are maxed out, I find myself still having trouble. You know, sometimes the heroes might change their mind about what they want to attack and then just go on oh, <laughs> completely. Sure. Queen on. loves to hit the wall. Yeah. She she likes to hit the walls no matter what's around her. I've had her hit buildings behind buildings. <laughs> mm. So it's it's um, in my gameplay, I won't touch the center unless I've already have fifty percent. And maybe I have my clan castle left over and my heroes and the spell, and then maybe I'll go for it. Yeah, you know, I was uh, I was actually doing the fifty percent thing with my balloons, just trying to get you know that one cup. And still, I would have a little bit of trouble, you know, doing that as well because I was trying to, like, conserve my uh, my spells and just let the balloons... You know, I, I figured it out, okay, like, the balloons, it only takes two to get the Archer Tower if it's maxed out. And, you know, I was calculating all this stuff. And like, man, <laughs> I just had a really bad day. Yeah, I have it down to a science as well. I know how many hits uh, if buildings are next to each other or if they're standing alone, and that does help. Um, some bases are harder than others. When the Inferno Towers are not centered near the Town Hall, I get nervous. Mm, okay. Wow. You know, and, and your cups, what are you at right now? Oh, gosh. I'd have to look. 44, 40 something. 44, 40 something. Would you say maybe in the near, I don't know, by the end of this year, someone might, might hit uh, 5,000 cups? Well, yeah. It was, um, Tetwa had it today i thought it was a no 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 his i believe his was uh 4500 but i mean like yeah 4500 i'm sorry what was what did i miss say uh, it again i'm wondering like if anyone will ever hit 5000 cups because oh 5000 yeah cups. the people people are saying that you know because of the way the trophy system is right now there's no way to advance <laughs> the people at the top I have would, to struggle i would be shocked but that being said i remember when it was 4000 to get into the top 200 players and now it's like 4,200. Yeah, so it is It is little by little. I think it's going up, but it has to go up with everyone else. I've noticed also, yeah. like, the top. The, if you're on leaderboards, the cups go up, like, every... I think every day it goes up three cups, you know, around yeah, there. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. That sounds right. Um, it's it's hard to stay in the top ten. I You have to be lucky. You really do. You have to find some cups in your session, and you have to not get crushed on defense. Um, if I'm finding six to eight cups and I lose 36, there's no way to advance there. We need to be offered more bases, for sure. Mm. That would be very helpful. What is your favorite troop? Oh, minions. Oh, yeah, the flying poopers. Oh, Supercell, please make a minion, make a minion prince. Ah. Add it to the family. We want a minion hero. I need a flying hero. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I did a top five, and I put the minions as, like, um, what is it, like, fourth? But I, I can see how strong they are. They're, like, really strong just by themselves, you know, for an air troop. Oh, I love them. Yeah, they're really strong. They're great. And if you if you clear a path for them, they're pretty unstoppable. And when you get them in a pack, they're great. I love mm. them. All right, so I just, I just wanted to ask you, like, how is it? How do you do shield management? Because you only get a one day shield and a two day shield, and the two day shield takes forever to pop up. So you're basically living off of one day shields. Right. Uh, how is it? Like, how do you manage that? Okay. Well, I have them set to where I can use my one day shield, and then I do a session, and then I will pop my two day shield right afterwards, and I will get to do another session before I have to go af go for my defense. And it's a really good way to gain some nice cups without the stress of defense. And then, you know, four or five days later, my one day will pop up. And just like right now, I'm waiting till Sunday till I can get another shield desperate for them. 
Are you doing uh, two hour sessions? I mean, sorry, let me say this again. Are you doing two sessions for the six hours each? Yes, but not in a row. Not in a row? I will do a, I'll do one in the morning, and then I'm spending time with my family, and then when they go to bed, I do another session. Oh, man. So the you don't you don't wait for the whole shield to go off right no. you just uh, no i don't i don't okay. wait for the whole right now i have like four or five hours left and i'm gonna start here in about 20 minutes man yeah because you know i would wake up and it time, it'd be time to raid and then once that's over i wait till about eight o'clock at night and then do my session again and then i'd get off at about uh, 1 a.m to 2 a.m yeah you know, and and then be good until the morning time again. Is that how you're doing it? Pretty much, but I try to get off before one and two a.m. It doesn't always happen. <laughs> My sleep is all messed up from this game. And what was what has been the craziest like raid you've done? Was it in the shower or was it in the car? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty bad. Uh, of God, I don't know. Um, I. <laughs> I try to, um, I have been on meetings, on phone calls, and a base has popped up, and I will flat out lie and say, I'm getting another call, I have to take this, and run out of the room and try to do my raid. People think I can be a little rude, but uh, they understand at the end of the day that it's very important to me. Oh, man, yeah, I I know exactly, like, I, I'd have a conversation going with, you know, my friend, and then I'd have to cut them off right there and say, wait, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> You know, it really sucks because you you have to. How, how much focus does it take to be up there? You know, because I've figured out. You know, I I I haven't wanted to play live stream on this game oh. at 4K at 4,000 cups because it takes a lot of focus oh, and you don't want to mess no, up. No, I would I wouldn't either. Um, my kids know not to come in the room for three minutes. Um, they know, guys. I'm raiding and they will run away because mommy gets cranky. Oh wow! Um, and and then I have them, you know, scratching at the door. Did you win? Can we come? Is it safe? Can we come back? Oh in? my gosh! Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's they're, awesome. They're very um, tolerant of me playing. Yeah. Um, and I guess uh, last question is well, one of the questions is uh, how is it? How, are, do you have any advice for people that are trying to get to four thousand cups? Is it? Can it be done without purchasing a lot of gems, or is it required that you spend a lot on this game? Um, I think it's difficult, but it's quite possible to get high cups without using a lot of gems. The problem with being over 4K is that there's not a lot of bases available. So when you sit in the clouds for anywhere from three minutes to three hours just looking for a decent base, once you find one, you want to rush your troops to get back into those clouds in case something pops up. You don't want to waste a lot of time waiting for your spells to finish and for your heroes to regenerate. So that's where the gems come in handy. But I think uh, I think you can get pretty high if you're... Um, if you try and you're patient and you want to sit there and wait out your spells and all, I think it's possible, but it's certainly a lot oh, you'd easier have to, to do, stay in the clouds. Would you, would you say all they have to do is maybe get 20 to 30 cups each session before they go on defense and then that they should be safe? Yeah, my rule was 50. It's not anymore. <clears throat> now it's, woohoo, I got 12. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but down, down around... Anywhere from 3,600 to 4,000. I'd say 50 is safe because then even if you have a tough defense, you've gained. You've gained. And, and, it's, and it's possible down there. But like I said, the more time you're in the clouds, the better chance of a decent base popping up. So it's nice to how be able to heck, rush it in. How the heck can you stay up that high? And You don't have max walls, right? You yeah. only have like level 10. Is it 10 or 9? I have a few level 10. <laughs> Most of them are level 9. Okay, but you're if they two star you, and I'm sure everybody is below you that's attacking you on defense. If they two star you, you're out, you're offering them. Is it fifteen to thirty cups? Um, yeah, it's yeah about uh, seventeen to thirty six, I'd say. Wow, so you would have to really use those shields wisely. Oh yeah, yeah, you absolutely, and you don't wait on them. The second you have one ready, you go for it. You finish your session and you take your shield, and you're quite happy to do so. Mm. And that's really the best oh, okay. time to gain cups. I mean, you can go, if you're using your shields consecutively, you can get up there quite a bit. And that helps when you have to face the defense the next time. And I guess the uh, last thing is, what would you want to see in the game? Maybe some changes or thoughts about what you would uh, make you play more or be happier with the game? Um, that's a good question. I think, I think at the level that we're at, 
we're all really good Raiders at this point. Um, we'd like to see more defense wins. So maybe we tilt that a little bit more in our favor, make the, make the bases harder to raid. We've gotten pretty good at it so far. <laughs> so I'd, I'd say make them a little bit harder. <laughs> all right. Uh, any last uh, shout outs or thoughts before we go? Yes. Please, I'd like to say hi to my King's Rock family. You guys are fantastic, and you have pushed me forward, and I just could not be where I am without all of you. And to my original clan mates, Chris, Scott, and Ashley, for holding my hand through all the tough bases and, um, and celebrating all of my wins. And if I cannot go out without mentioning Darko, because I think he would have my head, and to tell him thank you for always reminding me that this is just a game, and when I lose, not to get too upset over it. And um, I appreciate all of you. Oh, thank you, thank you. And uh, what was your name in the game? What's your in-game name? It's Mel. Mel, okay. All right, well, thank you, Mel, for uh, hanging out with us and giving us some insight on how it is up there. Absolutely. Thank you so much. No problem. Maybe we could do this again sometime. Anytime. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. All right, take care.